Hey everyone, welcome back. It's day 19, pattern 19, and we're going to do something a little different today because Google has been spying on me and they've been steady feeding me these boards of crochet and granny squares and everything. So I came across this Russian board. Can't read what it says, but there were a couple of diagrams that I thought was kind of cool. This was one of them, and this was the other one. So just looking at these diagrams, you'd be like, hmm, what's that going to be? I don't know. So I just used the yarn that was sitting on my table with me, and this is what it came up with. But I had this thought, what a great fireball this would make. So we're going to see if we can make it look like a fireball using this Pinterest Russian granny square diagram. So we're going to start off with orange. And of course I can only use the colors I have on hand. Okay, so we do a slip knot and we're going to chain four. And then slip stitch, or yeah, slip stitch it together and then do a chain stitch. And we're going to do eight single crochets. That's one and eight. Slip stitch to the first stitch. And then chain three. So one, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. And then you chain two. And in the next stitch, you do a double crochet. So I have to decipher this diagram as we go. Chain two and do a double crochet in the next. And it looks like we're doing that all the way around three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With including your chain three, you should have eight of those. So chain two and double crochet in the next. Chain two and double crochet. Do that all the way around. And when you have your eight, you chain two and slip stitch to the third chain. One, two, three. Fasten off, and you're done with your orange. Hopefully this ends up looking like a fireball. Okay, then we go to our next color. Which is a golden rod. And we're going to do a slip knot. Do that again. A slip knot. And in this chain two space, fasten on with the standing single. And chain up three. That will count as a triple crochet. And you're going to do two more triples in that same chain two space. And then from the diagram, it looks like we want a really loose chain stitch. And we're going to come over to our next chain two space and do three triples. Then a really loose chain stitch. And in the next chain two space, three more triples. Okay. 
you would think I would know by now to bring my bowl to the table and a loose chain stitch and then three more triples you do that all the way around into each chain two space three triples and a loose chain stitch in between when you get to the end of the round if you don't think you can keep that chain stitch loose to slip stitch into over here, do two chains, and that's what I'm going to do. And you could do that, I'm sure, with all of them. If you don't think you could keep the tension for a loose chain stitch, then just chain two in between. Okay, and then we're going to fasten off. Okay, next color for round three, I have this really itchy um, bright yellow it's in my scrap bucket. Okay, so you're going to attach with a slip stitch right before the spot where you left off. And then do a single crochet into that first space where you slip stitch to attach. You do a single crochet. Then you come over to your next triple and do a single crochet chain three and put another single crochet in that same spot then you single crochet in the next stitch and one into your loose chain space chain eight four five, six, seven, eight, and put another single crochet into that chain space. And then single crochet into the next triple. Then the center triple, do a single crochet trying to cover my ends as I go. Chain three and put another single crochet in that same triple spot. Single crochet in the next triple. Single crochet into the chain space. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then single crochet into that same chain space. And you repeat that all the way around. So just to recap, the first triple gets a single. The second triple gets a single, a chain three, and another single. The third triple gets a single, the chain space gets a single, a chain eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then another single. And then you're starting over again with your next set of three triple crochets. So work your way around and I'll meet you when I get finished with mine. Okay, you should end with a chain eight and then slip stitching into your first single crochet that you made. Slip stitch into that. And it is time to fasten off this color. Oh, this yarn's awful. Okay, so you should look something like this.
Okay, so now this is our fireball. The orange isn't quite the right color, I don't think. Those two look okay together, but this I think is a little off. So we need a different color to really make it look like a fireball. So now you're gonna get black or a dark blue, like maybe a navy blue or something, to make the night sky for this fireball. And we are going to fasten on to one of our chain eight spaces with a standing single crochet. And chain two, that will count as a double crochet. And then we're gonna do three more double crochets. So one, two, and three, so that gave us four. We're gonna chain three. This is a nice black, it's so soft. And then do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain two and do a double crochet into the small chain three loop. Chain two and do a single crochet into this eight chain loop. Chain two and do a double crochet into this three chain loop. Chain two, and we're at another corner. So we're gonna do four doubles. One, two, three, four. Oops, almost lost it. Chain three and do four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain two and do a double into this three chain loop. Chain two. A single into this eight chain loop, chain two, and a double into the three chain loop, chain two, and you're back at a corner. So it would be four doubles, chain three, four doubles. Okay, let's just take a look at what we got here. So this is, oh that yellow is pretty next to the black, too bad it's so itchy. This is how it's looking so far. Definitely a different shade of orange, which I do not have. We make do with what we have for this. So we're gonna continue around. Four double crochet, chain three, four double crochet, chain two, double, chain two, single, chain two, double, chain two, and you're back to a corner. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, when you complete the round, you join with a slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet chain two double crochet that we made. And then you are going to chain one. And in that same stitch, and I know this is black, it is hard to see. In that same stitch, you are going to do a single crochet And in the next three double crochets, you're going to do a single crochet. And in the corner, we get two single crochets. And 
a chain two and two single crochets and then a single crochet in each stitch and chain spaces so that was a chain two so it gets two singles and that's a double so it gets a single and then two singles and that single gets a single and then two singles and that double gets a single that chain space gets two singles and then we have four stitches so it's one, two, three, and four, then two singles in the corner, chain two, two more singles in the corner, and then singles all the way down the side. So you start all over again with those and work your way all the way around to the other side and I will meet you there when we are all finished with this round. When you get around to the other side, you slip stitch to your first single crochet and fasten off. And that is all there is to the diagram for this square which needs some major blocking. Not too bad. See, this would be perfect if I had the right color orange in there. It would look like my fireball or the sun. Darn it. What shade of orange would you suggest? I'm thinking more of a yellow orange. Um, would this be considered a red orange? Or just a, like an even darker shade of yellow? Like more towards the mustard yellow? I don't know. But that was a pretty easy pattern to do. And it was quick. So, if you liked this video and this pattern, even though it was a um, Google Spied Pinterest inspired, then you should click on this box right here to go to the next tutorial. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.